Hi there, my friends. Once again, Alcon Recon out of Trinidad and Tobago. Well, much has been said about sport over the past few days. As a matter of fact, there have been a number of exciting things happening over the past six or seven weeks in the Caribbean, and particularly with the international teams. Maybe we should try to concentrate first on what has happened in England as England won the series 2-1 to one against the West Indies. The reason why we are continuing with trying to find out why did the West Indies lose, I think it is important to talk about it. The social media has not been very kind to them, and one can understand that a few times because it's about four or five years that these players have been playing, and they're not yet qualified as test players. It is easy to see. The elderly people are saying, uh, uh, comparing with these youngsters, with the Gary Sobuses and Viv Richards and Brian Laras and Rohan Kanai and whoever what. But there was a significant difference. What we can ask ourselves the question is, that how did these guys get as good as they did that they could have led the game of cricket for the West Indies for many years? This is a tremendous feat. It's a hard competition to challenge for today's player. So we've got to look and see what have we done that we didn't do 20 years ago or 18 years ago or 15 years ago. Why is it that the standard of play has dropped so terribly and now we are looking at test matches but players who are not really test players. And it is honest to admit it simply because of the fact that if they know that they are not good enough, then they will have to try harder. Another point that you want to make is that don't make excuses for them. The captain should not come on and say, oh, we paid, played cro cro uh, poor cricket. Sure, you paid, played poor cricket, but that's why you lost. What we want to find out is where do you go from here? I'm sure Philip Simmons has his mind on a number of things that could make the West Indies players be a better group of players. Let's start from the very beginning. Let's compare with the West Indies of many years ago. A number of those players were playing in England. And if they benefited from anything outside of their natural talents, they were taught the art of concentration, commitment to the game, studying about the game as much as possible, and then they were exposed to players of a good quality at all times during the summer. So this is one of the advantages for them. Well, we have sort of distorted this simply because of the fact that our regional teams really now are not as strong as they used to be because they never went through to England and played in the county series and they had never had the experience. What is important is that our coaching needs to be addressed. It is not about a youngster coming and displaying a number of shots here, there and everywhere and all of a sudden he's in the test team. That's hard to understand and I'm sure that's why the fans are getting a little bit jumpy and are saying, well, where do we go from here? And my question is the same, where do we go from here? And I'm still believing that one can share the pot across the Caribbean in terms of coaching staff. We need to have batsmen, not who can play the shots. A lot of them can play the shots, but they cannot plan an innings. Some of them are technically in sound. And if you have somebody like Desmond Haynes uh, looking at these batsmen, I'm sure that he can add to the quality that they have and correct a lot of methods that could bring them to be better players. Then, of course, we have some of the other players who is t tremendously reckless in their approach to the game. Hence the reason why they can get to 20 or 30 and get out. Look at the English players. When they get to 40 or 50, they're going at 100. And they're putting the pressure on at all times. We have not been able to do that. We prefer to say, our bowlers can get out England. Another error of judgment. The English people are looking carefully. Yes, we do have some excellent bowlers. There's no doubt that Kemar Roach and, and Shannon Gabriel are excellent fast bowlers by any standards. 
and they can put pressure on batsmen and they have and they've gotten wickets and that was important to us but England scored enough runs that our batsmen were not able to score those runs now let's not just criticize them or criticize the the team as a whole yes you must lose sometimes what I would say is this is time to get down to the drawing board and try to put into these players a little bit of cricket intelligence, a little bit of batting intelligence, even the bowlers, as good as they are. Sometimes we believe that they're straying just a bit too much and the pressure is on and they're getting reckless and bowling white balls and all that stuff. Again, others may say it's the choice of players. Well, I don't like the idea of uh, talking about the choice of players because you have selectors who would be looking at them all the time. You have uh, Philip Simmons who's right there with them. And if they sit together and make the choice of players, you can't really complain with the players. You've got to look at what the coaching staff has got to do to improve it. This is the time for it. The time for it is not between and among a test match, a test series. It's during the time that they are not playing and they can get into the nets and they can get into to, to warm up matches among these players in the Caribbean and give themselves the opportunity to build innings. How can we forget the innings played from people like Brian Lara, Everton Weeks? I recall them as I as I'm seeing them today simply because they plan their innings. Seymour Nurse, the late Seymour Nurse a wonderful player in terms of planning his innings. That's the reason why he scored a double century against every test cricket country in the universe. Couldn't we have emulated him if we had seen a couple of videos with his batting and see his technique and see his ability to change the ends when the pressure is on and find the gaps in the field? Couldn't we have looked at Brian Lara's decision to, to pierce the field by just opening the fat a few bat a few centimeters and the ball's gone for four instead of straight to a player we need to look at this we need to share it with the young players they must in turn show us that they are very interested there's a lot of people saying darren bravo is not there and uh, anita is poor and i agree and and hetmeyer i agree but the point about it is they too need that type of work they need to have some sort of dialogue where their ability to play shots and try to get runs must be built around understanding the game, playing every ball and its merit, working and looking at the conditions, looking at the positions and the field that the players are so that they can know in their own minds where they're given preference. These things are non-existent and because of this, it is not at this point in time, a distance that they can say, well, we're going to win the next test series. You're going to start by winning it now. You're going to have to start by improving your quality of play. As to our spinners, one thing about it, a lot has been said about Cornwall. Yes, uh, visually, I would think that he would not have been a player who could play a five-day test match. I'm not being unkind to him. He's a huge man. He's... Uh, he, he must be a little bit slower, but he catches the ball and slip very well. For those who know the English wickets, the orthodox off spinner is not effective. He may get wickets, but he's not normally effective, not if the wicket is playing as good as the, the third test match at, at Old Trafford. I would think that Ruston uh, Chase was probably a more effective bowler, and you would not want to go in with two off spinners in the test match. That's tactical. That's not technical simply because it is the brain child of a Jason Holder and he should be able to put things in place. It didn't happen. So let's just take this time and look at the, the, the videos of these players, talk about it, go into the nets and work hard at the things that they were incapable of doing. You have the time now to help them to be better players. I certainly hope they have. And I would hope that the fans are a little bit tolerant as well and give them the opportunity. My biggest fear is that when they go to play the T20 game, because they rush back into the hurry and scurry of hitting sixes and, and uh, doing a lot of things that a test match does not ask for.
ครับ